as a soldier and messenger of the Lord of the Galaxies, I say greetings. The earthquake in Papua New Guinea on Monday killed several humans and injured hundreds. Mexico was hit again last Friday, killing several. Wales, England was hit for the first time in a decade. The Lord's Legion is initiating Armageddon. Mashallah. The theme of this video is make no distinction between any of God's prophets. Let's begin. The Lord of the world has enlisted human beings to deliver his messages to other human beings since the dawn of your creation. These human beings are commonly known as prophets in the religious world. The Lord's reasons for using them are relayed here. Holy Quran, Surah 42, verse 51. And it is not vouchsafed to a mortal that Allah should speak to him except by revelation or from behind a veil or by sending a messenger and revealing by his permission what he pleases. Surely he is high. Wise. Bhagavad Gita chapter 6 verses 29 and 30. A true yogi observes me in all beings and also sees every being in me. Indeed, the self realized person sees me the same Supreme Lord everywhere. For one who sees me everywhere and sees everything in me, I am never lost, nor is he ever lost to me. Bhagavad Gita chapter 7 verse 26. O Arjuna, as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, I know everything that has happened in the past and that is happening in the present. And all things that are yet to come, I also know all living entities, but me no one knows. Hmm. The preceding verses are resoundingly definitive indeed. No human being can physically see the face of the Lord. Any verses of any scriptures that contradict this have been altered for deception by demons in skin suits. Now, there is great dissent in the Islamic world regarding the terms prophet and messenger. Many Muslims believe that there is no difference between the two. However, their definitions are certainly diverse according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary. Messenger 
one who bears a message or does an errand, like your typical mailman. Now, the word prophet, one who utters divinely inspired revelations, specifically often capitalized the writer of one of the prophetic books of the Old Testament. Three, one who foretells future events, a predictor. In light of these definitions, any being who delivers a message, whether representing self or another, is a messenger. However, every messenger is not a prophet, for a prophet is one who is endowed with divine revelation or scripture. Hence, a prophet is not a messenger if he does not relay prophecies to any other beings. The instant that a prophet delivers prophecies to another being, that prophet also becomes a messenger. Here is the Holy Quran, Surah 44, verses 5 and 6, a command from us. Truly, we are ever sending messengers. A mercy from thy Lord. Truly, he is the hearing, the knowing. Verses 5 and 6 of Surah 44 definitively state that the Lord of the cosmos is ever or perpetually sending messengers, but not prophets. Since the Holy Quran definitively proclaims that Muhammad is the seal or final prophet of the earth. All after him, including this black and American Indian skin suit that you see before you, are merely messengers. I use the of the Lord terminology to separate his prophets from the numerous prophets of Satan and their scriptures after the death of Muhammad. These would include Nostradamus and his quatrains, Levi Dowling and his Aquarian Gospels, Joseph Smith and his Book of Mormon, Anton LaVey and his Satanic Bible, Alistair Crowley and his Book of the Law, Abdul al Hazred and his Necronomicon, Edgar Casey and his Modern Prophet, and Wallace Farad and his Satanic supreme wisdom. And there are countless other prophets of Satan to this very day. Holy Quran, Surah 21, verses 25 and 108. And we sent no messenger before thee, but we reveal to him that there is no God but me. So serve me. Say, it is only revealed to me that your God is one God. Will you then submit? Yeah. Muhammad 
was made aware of many prophets of the Lord before himself who taught of the one and only God. However, he was certainly not granted the knowledge of every prophet to ever walk the earth that taught this. Holy Quran, Surah 4, verses 164 and 165. And we sent messengers we have mentioned to thee before, and messengers we have not mentioned to thee. And to Moses, Allah addressed his word speaking to him. Messengers, bearers of good news and warners, so that the people may have no plea against Allah after the coming of messengers. And Allah is ever mighty wise. The Holy Quran and Bible have mentioned only a few of the prophets of the Lord of the galaxies. His prophets of other races are not directly mentioned. The Lord of the heavens declares that he has sent and is sending messengers, not prophets, for they ended with Muhammad, to all cultures around the globe. These were a few of his messengers in America and abroad. Ten Squatawa, American Indian of the Shawnee tribe in Ohio. He taught that the great spirit or master of life is the Lord and that the white race are the children of the evil spirit or Satan. However, they can save themselves by doing righteous, by like any others. Smohala, or Smohala, another American Indian of the Wanapum tribe in Washington State. He taught that the creator is called Nami Piyap. Smohala was one of the dreamer prophets of the Washani religion. Zoroaster is the first or oldest prophet of written religious history. He lived in the area known as Iran today. He taught that Ahura Mazda is the creator and lord of the galaxy. Siddhartha Gautama Buddha lived in Nepal. He taught that Brahman is the creator and lord of the galaxies. Arjuna lived in India. He taught that Krishna is the lord and creator of the galaxies. Lao Tzu lived in China. He is the author of the Tao Te Ching and founder of Taoism. He taught that Hong Jun Lao Tzu is the creator and lord of the galaxies. Yeah, the lord of the galaxies has definitively stated in the Holy Quran that he has sent prophets to every 
people or race of the earth and that he is constantly sending messengers to whom he pleases so this is what every race and subculture should be relaying to each other holy quran surah 3 verse 84 say we believe in allah and that which is revealed to us and that which was revealed to abraham and ishmael and isaac and jacob and the tribes and that which was given to moses and jesus and to the prophets from their lord the most important of the verse we make no distinction between any of them and to him we submit yeah in closing there is one single god who delivered the same single message to every race in their own language you humans have altered or edited the messages of your prophets after their deaths a devout believer should make no distinction or elevation between any of the Lord's prophets. A mere believer is allowed to favor a particular prophet, but not elevate that prophet above the others. So Jesus is no greater than Muhammad. Muhammad is no greater than David. Arjuna is no greater than Buddha, and so on. Your species must mature from infantile in fighting over who has the greater or greatest prophet. All of the Lord's prophets are living in bliss in the afterlife for all eternity indeed. Alhamdulillah, all praises due to Allah.